Hi guys, welcome. <laughs> hey Pamela and Lulu and Abby, welcome guys. Meow. Hi Sherry, welcome. Are you good? I'm just uh, marking a couple of images here that I like. Wow. Shadow's saying I can't colour anything at all. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty. There's quite a few images in this book, hey? <laughs> and they are quite detailed. I, I was not expecting the detail that's in them. And there's little pictures even. Look at those, so tiny. Oh, there's a person. She says. <laughs> All right, let's go through it. This is uh, Rita Berman's Europa. You know what, though? I got a special package um, this morning. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm good. I, I am good. I'm doing well. Um, I got a package, so yeah. It says it's from Dutch Post. Hmm, gift. It's a gift. <laughs> so, happy mail. Should I open it or should we just do what I was going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Open. Open. <laughs> Sherry's like, open. Please open. Abby's like, open. Pamela's like, open. <laughs> All right. Let me let me have a quick flick through this book so Mark's all the ones I like. I mean, I like them all, but some that I might like to do today is what I'm looking at. <laughs> some I might like to do today. It is super cute. Look at these cute images. Like, they're little, which, which could be a little... Like, the pages are not only detailed, but they are little... Uh, which means that even though there's detail, it's not going to take as long as like the Circle of Life book, which I actually considered doing today. I, I opened it up and went, mm, and then closed it again and went, mm. <laughs> Whereas is this? Uh, yeah, okay, I can see this, this, this busyness and stuff, but the page is little, so it's not quite as daunting, you know. It's not as stressful as... Uh, as others. How cute is this kitty? Kitties! Do you have a winter book? No, I don't. I don't have the winter book. This one's pretty, but I don't know. Chocolatea? That was the first miniature I did at Chocolatea. Yeah. Amsterdam. I don't know. I don't know what is this Dutch version? Is that is that the the version that oh, that's cute. The, it's autumn. The version this is. I know she's probably got an English version, I'm assuming, but... Oh, up, up in the air. Oh, some forest ones here. 
I feel like I'm missing pages, but they're quite thick. The pages are quite thick. Well, that's pretty. And there's my swatch page. Cooking and lurking, no one else has popped in. No one else has popped in yet. Only 10. I don't know what's going on. What happened to my 30 to 40 people? <laughs> Is it too hot? Are, this, are these some of our other books? Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Very sweet. No, I have not got any other books, just this one. All right, well, that, that, there's some of the ones that I'm, gonna, I'm looking at doing today. But let's open this package, shall we? Cooking and lurking, Abby? Okay. All right, let's open this up. Nothing in there. Hi Barbara, welcome Christina, hello. Alright, I got a package, I want to open it. By Sarah Victor. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, isn't it pretty? Kiss me. All right. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Let's have a look. Oh. Dear Belinda, thank you so much for your support. I love your videos and live streams. Enjoy coloring. Love, Sarah. Oh, how nice. Look. It's pretty. I don't know how to say it. Can you tell me na nacho shawarma? Na nachos? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> na nacho shawarma? Na shawarma? I don't know. I don't know what's, what's silent and what's... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. This book belongs to... Oh gosh, it's thick. Lovely. It's like her first one. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, we've done this one. The Dark Unicorn. Ooh, so pretty. They're all line up by the look of it. There's some little bits of detail, so it's sort of semi, some semi grayscale parts to it, but it's mainly line art. Oh, that's got something on it there. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. You can imagine him like black and purple. Pegasus, I like that. Hey! The one I lost. Where can you find this book at? I don't know yet because Sarah just sent it to me. I just got it in the mail. <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let me have a look. Hang on. She's got a website, hasn't she? Uh, coloring book. Is 
Let's see. I know she's got like that's I'm looking now, hang on. Well the first one is on Etsy on um Amazon. Dunkle Bunt. And the second one's not yet. Maybe it's not for sale yet. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to show you yet. Let's have a look, see if it's on our website. Ah, it's coming soon. <laughs> oh no, I've told you too soon. Hey. If I... If I can't, if I can't show you now, then it's too late now. <laughs> not available yet. It's not there yet. It's not available yet. You'll have to wait. I will redo, I will redo the book again uh, once it's up on, and I'll actually colour a page as well. Ha <laughs> ha And look at that. I don't think, uh, I don't, maybe I wasn't supposed to get it so soon. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll message her. As I said, I just got, hi Angela, welcome. I just got, um, thank you. Send some hearts for you. Um, I will message her because I only just got it this morning, so I haven't actually messaged her to see. So, um, yeah, I will. I will do that. I will do that. Most of them, I think, are already on her Etsy shop, though, from the look of this. So, very cool. Oh, that's cute. I know that one's... I know these ones are available. I've seen a lot of these on her Etsy shop. I have seen a lot of these. You know what? I wish she had have done some grayscale ones in here, though. You know, I love some... The grayscale ones are awesome, too. Oh, look. Some nice lips. They look familiar. <laughs> They look familiar. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Look at that. Pegasus, apparently. Amazing. So we'll do another thing on it um, once I get the details. Because I don't have the details at the moment. I do not. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So something to look forward to, right, guys? All right, guys. All right. I'll talk to Sarah and uh, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Lucky you get a peek at it now then. <laughs> Lucky you got a peek at it. All right. So the book we're reading today is actually by Rita Berman. Uh, Europa? Europa? I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, the link for this one is in the description. It is... Uh, available on Amazon and uh, I think I might uh, I may do a giveaway of this one soon of the book so um, we'll talk about that later and I need to pick an image and I don't know which one to do I mean it's I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish an image today uh, so I don't know. Thinking about doing the kitty cat one. I like the one with the. There's two I actually like, but. Uh, no. I don't know. Right. I like this one. I think that's cute. I like the one with the 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 shop 
though, I think. The particular one, I think. Where is that one? This one. I think I like this one. What do you guys think? Oh, I've lost you. Where are you on my screen? There you are. Hello. Hi, Loretta. Welcome. Oh, you missed... Uh... Oh, really, Barbara? Oh, is that because it's coming from... I, I think I put the link for Amazon, but I, I believe it's coming from Book book uh, Depository, which is in the UK. I, I believe that might be why. Yeah, possibly. Hi, Helen. Welcome. might not do the pentagram one I didn't see a pentagram one but okay the pentagram has different it depends on which type of like which way the star goes depending if it's a pentagram or the other one doesn't it I didn't see it but anyway oh good I'm not attuned to it oh no <laughs> I'm thinking we do this one I'm thinking you guys are gonna have to be patient because this one's gonna take us a while Um, although, although, you know what, I have used, uh, I could, I could use some distress ink, or I could, oh, actually, I could use some, uh, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I need something behind it, though. It needs a leaning board. This is one of my leaning boards. <laughs> sit, boo boo, sit. Yeah, dog. I don't mind if I stretch the binding too much. It doesn't matter. As long as I get to colour. I don't really colour in books often, do I? People. <laughs> I don't really. Um, alright. <clears throat> I'm going to use some, some watercolour. Uh, maybe I have the Derwent sets. The only thing with these is that they don't blend and bleed much. It's hard to... I don't know how the paper will handle it. So let's have a look at these. Windsor and Newtons. Uh, anyone tried the budget-friendly version of Tom Holt's Distress Inks? No! I typically end up only doing a few pages in each book. Well, we were having uh, this discussion last week on uh, Heather's stream, and uh, I'd really love to finish a book. Um, I don't know if it will be this one. I mean, I'd love to finish this one, but, you know, sometimes things don't go to plan. <laughs> Don't go to plan. Oh, looks like I've lost a, I've lost a color here. Look where he's gone. That's no good. Oh no, it's all right. They just come out of their little slot. This is the. We can take that off. This is my messy palette. My messy palette. <laughs> oh dear. I don't even know what these colours are, so don't even ask. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if um how this is gonna look. Like I don't know. I haven't tested the watercolour on on the paper yet. I did test the Tombows. Maybe we should have a little bit of a a scribble just so we can see how they feel and the back and I kind of feel like we should do something dark like green
and <laughs> you're a big mess. What, what do you mean you're a big mess? I'm going to do two colors. I'm going to try some blue. And you know what? Let's add a little bit of extra water to these sections just to see how the paper holds up and if it goes through or leaves any marks or looks strange or looks strange let's do some uh, drying Let's have a look at it close up. It's pretty good. There's a little bit of pilling, but it's not too bad. It doesn't go through. Uh, the Tombows I did earlier, I actually drew, but it doesn't, um, the Tombows didn't, you know how sometimes on the other paper it, it smudges out really nicely and it goes like watercolour? Well, in this book it doesn't. The watercolour part of it works okay, but it doesn't smudge. So if I was going to use it, I'd have to do that. And now these are the colours that I tried. Pablo, Prismacolor, Holoburn and Polly's. And they all worked quite well. So that's good. There's my pencil. They're just right on here. W and N watercolours. Just so... Uh, next time I know they're a little bit bumpy I did do that really wet though didn't I? I did it does depend on what paper you use so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna do some of the background parts some of the the, the background the bricks and, and things. So I'm like using an umber colour and some sort of ochre. It is, I can see it, it is yellow ochre. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know what the other one was, but I'm mixing them together. The other one's probably umber of some sort. Let me have a look. It is raw umber. Great deductions there. I did well. Alright, I want a little bit of red as well, so some sort of sienna. Seventy two uh our teasers? Oh, I like the Arteezers, they're nice. I don't some people don't like them, but I like them. I don't I don't mind them. Just doing a little bit of a mixture and I don't know if I should go to the edges I probably should just you know zoom out a little bit there sorry guys I need a cloth where's my cloth inks 
I don't think I'll go right to the edge because I don't want to get into the middle bit there. I'm just going to gently alternate between the colours here a little bit. Put the, the ready colour kind of closer to the bricks there. Just got to be careful on my phone. I'm waiting for a call, so I do apologise if sometimes I go a little quiet and look for a look to see. Um... A little bit of the brown in there. What are these pretty pearls? Nice, looking good. Looking nice. It was an extra set. Ooh. Yeah, I really like them. I actually don't use them that often. Um, because I don't know. There's mixed, mixed, you know, reviews about them. But I don't know. I think they're nice. teaser and mine aren't the water soluble ones because I know that there was a thing where that some of them were water soluble it's pretty I like it a bit darker in this bit here Red, red, red one. And just kind of like dabbing it on in the direction of the bricks too. So we're getting a little bit of texture between the dark and the light. Come around it. Look at it. It's so pretty. I really like it. Looking good. Sorry. I'm excited. It's probably still going to take me a very long time from here. But, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> be excited. People's be excited. You had dirty hands. Abby, excuse me. <laughs> Naughty hands. A little bit of brick there and a little bit there. All right, let's go to the other side. And do that one. 
Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, you're just trying to be a little bit, you know, quicker. I don't want to spend too much time. I kind of feel like that the umber there is not dark enough. Let me just grab a little bit more there. Raw umber. I might go back and add that to the darker spots too. Bit better. I'll just go like to the edge of the page there again. Not right to the edge of the page, I should say. Make it kind of even. A little bit of the red. Oh, there's a little bit of a section in there. Might have to go back and have a look at the other side too. Looks good. Looks good. A little bit of the red. I'm actually running out, so I'm just going to add a little bit more from my palette. A bit more of the raw umber. I'm working, so we'll miss chat. Ah, oh, what you doing? Add a little bit of the raw umber to it. I'm hoping if I ever get another place. Ah, oh, I hope she's okay. I did see you um, message there. She's had surgery. All is well. Need a little bit more of the br uh, the red there. Kind of feel like that that was missing. This side's gotten uh, a little wrinkly, probably because I've wet it a little bit more. We have this cute little light here. I think this should be lighter in here, shouldn't it? All right, let's go with a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow. Uh, what is it? Like, probably a cadmium yellow. Let me have a look. You cannot tell. Sometimes I've got them written on the sides of them and the bottom and sometimes they don't. Oh, this one is cadmium yellow. Gee, I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm actually going to add it in here as well.
just a little a couple of little spots there you have not heard but you're assuming she's okay oh that's good that is good it's a shame that you haven't heard but it's good that you know that assumption i think is a good one to have <laughs> A bit of the darker one down the side. Little dab dabs. Little dab dabs. Well, that's sort of out of focus, isn't it? No, I'm not the other one. A little bit of the red mixed in there. They kind of get a bit mixed up down the bottom here. Look a little muddy. A bit of the red. I need to make sure that after I play with the red and I'm done, I need to rinse that bit off because it seems to muddy up the other colours a little bit. Too much water. A little bit of the yellow. Right, I'm just going to gently come around the birdie. And anywhere else where I feel like it needs to have some filled in. I kind of think the other side I need to add a little bit of, uh, oh no, that looks all right. A little bit more depth maybe in this side here a little bit now. A little bit more of the raw umber. A bit darker this time. I like it. Looks good. <laughs> Let's try it.
Looking good. I like it so far. Oh no, don't you go on my other work, you naughty, naughty watercolors. Right, where else might there be? This, I think that's it for bricks. I think we could probably use a little bit of a warmer brown. I don't know. I do have a. What's this one? It's called Gambo. Gambog? I don't know. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it's actually like an orangey brown. I don't know if I like that. It's more orange. No, don't want that. Um, I think I want. I don't know. Let me have a look at some of these colours. Oh, that's nice. What's that one? Doesn't have a colour. This one's burnt umber. A little bit more rich. So I've got burnt umber. Oh yeah, I like that. And we're going to use this in the burnt umber. In this bit here and I think what I'll do is I'll do a uh, go <laughs> move up <laughs> move up I'm gonna just do cross the butt in and just drag that out Give Kitty some shadow. Just going to use a wet brush and just uh, drag that to the edge a little bit. And there you go, colour doesn't move very well once it's on. That that would be the paper, it doesn't have the ability to do it very well. I'm just going to add some more lines. Need a little bit darker. So to get darker, I just do it a little bit stronger, a little less water.
Nice. Alright. I'm still debating on whether I want to make a new swatch chart or just give her what I have. Well, you could do a new one for yourself and give her the one you have. I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, the raw umber and the burnt umber together. Alright, so we've done pretty much the whole background already. And I really like it. I think it looks good. It's uh it's it's got a bricky look to it and uh I like it. Alright, so we we didn't do much in here. I'm just gonna do some uh, I think it's like lemon in here. A bit of lemon. And uh, I'm just gonna lighten that off a little bit there. Stick a little around the edges a bit too. Dot dot dot. I mean, it's not dark, so let's use the lemon. <sighs> yeah, we don't want it to be dark, do we? We just wanted to add a little bit. Oh, maybe we should make it like, you know, going on. Uh, going on dusk or something so it's not dark dark but just gonna do a wash of the lemon um i'm definitely gonna do it in the windows here And I'm pretty sure these are windows up here too, so I'm just going to add that in there. I actually don't know what these little baubles are. Are they lights or... I don't know. Okay, let's vote. Are, are they lights or just ornaments? I guess this could be windows too. I don't know. That's a window. No, lights. Sherry's saying lights. Okay. Sherry's the only one who said, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do them as lights. <laughs> Hi Pam, welcome. Uh, welcome anyone else that's just dropped in and said hi. I think that might be a bit of a gap there. I don't know if this is, I think that looks like a, a, it must be a window because this is a sign that can be turned around. So make that a bit of a window. And I think we might uh, do that middle bit there. I don't know. So we've got some light here. We're going to need a little bit of light here. Let's just add a light layer. We'll make this a base and I'll come back in with some pencil. Let's add a little bit of light there. Um, Let's go with, these are lights, let's colour them. <laughs> yep, 
Yay! <laughs> Yay, says Sherry. There are lights. Your speed, my speed? It's just watercolour. You, I'm just doing like a base. We're just basing it right now. Basting it. <laughs> We're basting it. Alright. I think we need a little bit of light on these too because we have this, you know, these swirly lights here. These round lights. Alright. You think Kitty needs a little bit? I think he needs a little bit of a... Well, that was probably a bit much. Kitty needs a little bit of a highlight too. Because Kitty is standing there in the window looking... Same with Birdie. To add a bit of highlights. Alright, I think we got a little bit of light going on. <laughs> a little bit of light going on. A little bit... Some of it's a lot, but you know. Okay, well, I'm going to dry it. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, no. Oh, I like it. All right. I think the building should be like a heritage kind of green, maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm aiming for. I think I'm just going to clean off my palette first. A little bit of water. I don't know it's a cake shop. We could do a pink building. <laughs> why does why do we automatically associate pink with cake or cake with pink? I don't know. That's why my brain automatically goes, oh cake shop. Or maybe I think I'm gonna go green. Greens, but dark green. What have I got? Oh the dragon stuff. It's it's good. It's coming. It's I'm doing uh, Daria Colour and Chicks on Monday. Uh, I couldn't set up the video yet because it's not on sale yet. That's pretty green. I like that. Alright, so that's... Uh, I don't know what kind of green that is. It's stuck in there nice and good. Looks like a hooker's green of some sort. Let's so have a look. Did I guess it? Oh, I can't even see that. It's got paint on it. Guess what it is? It is green. <laughs> Doing well today. <laughs> Doing well today. 
All right, I want to add a little bit of darker green. So what have I got there? I don't know what that one is. I think that's lighter. It looks like a viridian or something. So that one. Lighter again. That's more olive. All right. Might just need to add a little bit of grey or something in there. Bit of that brown. I don't know what that brown is, but yeah, that's good. Some sort of umber. I don't know. It could be a. It's different to the one I used before. <laughs> They're kind of stuck in there, peoples. That one came out, so. They're stuck because the water gets stuck inside. See, look, look at that. Sepia, or sepia, however you say it. Okay, cool. So we've got. Hooker's green and sepia. It's going to make the this uh, kind of like olivey green here in the middle when I mix them. All right, so I don't know. There is a schedule, I think. You need to go to the Monarch Events uh, Facebook page. Helen might be able to get the, the, uh, might be able to get the, the link to the Facebook page. Just look up Monarch Events. Remembering this is a bit of a base layer, so I will do in pencils. And uh, we're going to just do it kind of rough to start with. I'm doing the darker green first. Which I probably shouldn't mean. Let's go back to the green. I haven't seen Renee for a while. It's got two. And then around the edges. Bit more water. Kitty is so cute. Kitty, kitty, kitty.
All right, can we go in between these things here? That was a really, really loud helicopter going past. All right, it's green. <laughs> it's green. Mm. Oops, I don't want to go on that one. Let's just dry that one off. Well, that worked out well that each end ended up the same color <laughs> it did it worked out well I think those little pearly bits could be lights too, couldn't they? Maybe. I'm just going to colour over all of that. Might need a bigger brush. That a little bit more even. Who's already doing this book? Who, who's working on it or has worked in it? Are you planning on doing the whole book? I'm curious. What, what, what? An egg in their shop? Um, the, I don't know, one of the artists has already put hers up. Uh, I saw it this morning. All right, I didn't want to do any more because it was quite wet. Go back in with the darker colour. Hi, Chandra, welcome. Instead, I'm colouring freebie pages. Uh, actually, if you join Rita Berman's uh, colouring group, every now and then 
she gives out freebies but they don't last you have to grab them when they come out or or you don't get them basically sometimes it does say you know if you didn't get it ask friends some <laughs> some so you could get it from someone maybe if you know someone in the group i have a few of the images but uh i actually don't think i got many of them before i before i joined so just dark done the darker green um i definitely need some dark green under the shading there Is mainly on that side there. This side's going to be a little bit lighter, isn't it? Because uh, for the light, but it's definitely dark in there. Ah, you poo poo. <laughs> Get out of there. I think we might use pencils to darken it. Might be better having much luck with the the watercolors they're not quite dark enough that's it that's another thing too with watercolors you um you're gonna get you know these dark patches it's harder to do it's harder to do when it's wet Bit of depth in there. All right. Might need a smaller brush. Let's go, little. Whose books are nice? Who are we talking about now? Oh, what's the, <laughs> what's the um what's the uh, what do you call it translation for that book maybe that will give me an idea of the pictures in it <laughs> maybe maybe it won't
Alright. I need to move some water because I need to move that a bit, don't I? It's a bit rough down here at the moment. issue no she says no <laughs> no <laughs> you just finished painting out the laundry and toilet in the house that's cool We need a lot of stuff done. Oh, and a lot of stuff done around here. Forgot these are lights. Anyhow, we we'll add a little bit of shadow there. I'm just going to roughly add some texture in here. I'm actually not sure what to, what to do with that writing. Maybe some gold lettering or something. I don't know. I think we can add a little bit of blue. I want to add some blue to the windows a little bit here. Um, something light ultramarine maybe. I don't know what this one is. We'll go with that though. Might be too dark. All right, what's this one? Nope. That's a good blue. I don't know what colour it is, but it's blue. It's a blue that looks a bit like water. <laughs> I imagine, uh, I, I don't know, the sky. I don't know. It's probably a little bit too blue for the sky, isn't it? I'm just going to water it down. I need a bigger brush again. Oh, I didn't even show you then off camera a bit. Okay, time to zoom out. <laughs> time to zoom out.
Okay, now we need some pinks. Purples. What have I got up here? Some sort of purple. Oh, it's like a, I don't know, quinacridone kind of purple color. It's very pretty. I'm going to do this on these flowers. Shush! Shush! No, you're being noisy. Why are you being noisy? Uh, 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 uh. No! 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 <laughs> you're putting your tail in everything! She's gonna attack me in a minute. Get off! No. No! You're standing on it! You're making. Mm. Have you ever seen the video clip of the grandma with the little kid eating? He just, she's trying to put stuff into the cookie bowl and he just keeps grabbing everything off her to eat it. It's like scary freaky, just like grabs things. He's super quick. This is what she reminds me of. She just gets into everything and it's like, no, no, don't. <laughs> uh, She's eating something on the side now. She's like, oh, what's this? I'm going to eat that. Cat. Crazy cat. Uh, I, I, I encourage you to go look that video up if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. Ah. Yep, I just did that. That's your fault. She just looks at me like, what? Why are you blaming me? She's just pushed... You No, you can't push things on the floor. Mm. Need a babysitter for you too, you know. Goodness me. Yeah, pretty purple. Ooh, chili sounds good. I'd really like some chili. Chili, chili. All right, I need a pink. What have we got? You're really in my way because the water's over there and the pellets over here. I'm just going to get some water and just uh, water that down a little bit on the edges. Uh, that should be green in there. It's looking a little messy right now, but 
I like it. I like it. All right, so we've kind of, oh, purple and pink, I like. I think we should make the roses down here pink too, yeah? Painting the roses red. Except we're not, we're painting them pink. <laughs> I think I do the bird. Because I have color on my brush. <laughs> Where else can we do pink? Let's do this one as well. Oh, why not? Put some pink on a little birdie. We can uh, think on the colors a little bit more later. And uh, let's do some pink. Cupcake holders. I don't even know what that is. Pink there. Pink there. Just adding a little bit of pink in these corners. I like it so far. So far, so good. She's she's just sitting there, you know, <laughs> having a purr, purr, having a purr. Uh, this time I'm going to go with some green that's a little bit brighter. I don't know what color it is. I can't. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm just going to. It's like an emerald green. It's like an emerald green. No, oh, might be a little bit too, too bright. Let me mute it off a little bit by a bit of, adding a bit of water. I can't get in there, miss. Did 
Did I get them all? Nope. I missed one. Did I get them all now? I think we did. Uh, this this tree here, I'm going to do that, the greens that we had left over there. It is decent paper. I mean, I'm only doing a light kind of layer, but. Too much! Don't look at me like that, kitty kitty. No looking at me like that. She's like, what are you doing? Why are you poking that brush around like that? I, I really need to play with that brush, Mum. Let me play. <laughs> She's... <laughs> I have the look over here. Dubbing, dubbing, dubbing. I'm just dubbing. This is the colours we used in the building. The light and the dark. Dub, dub, dub. It looks pretty. Let's do a terracotta colored pot, yeah? <laughs> no problem. How's the back of the page looking? It's looking wrinkly, uh, but nothing that I can't iron, I don't think. It's not going through at all. And then I think we need some of that red that we used earlier, yeah? Shadow, you need to move. I can't concentrate here with you like that. Uh. Let's do the same over here on this. Get off. Go on. Off. Off. He growled at me. Grr. Oh no. I couldn't even get into the to do the Yeah, she's been a pain. <laughs> this is a red that we used earlier. It's a uh... Very strong. You heard a grab, girl. 
She's a shocker. She's like, no, I will not do it. All right, let's do some bread. Uh, I don't know, maybe the umbery color again. Or oh, okay color again, I guess. No, it needs a oh, actually, it's not too bad. Gonna mix a little bit of the raw umber with it. What's up? A croissant? I don't know what these are. Do you know what these are? Those little round thingies are? What are these? I don't know. It looks like some sort of swirly cake thing, but who knows? It could be anything. We'll go with... I don't know. You can add another layer of pink in this cake, I think. Cinnamon roll? Maybe. Oh, you know what? There could be those loaves of bread that, that uh, curl up. I've seen them before. They, You know the loaves of bread? They look like a shell kind of on the ends of them. I don't remember what kind of bread it's called, but yeah, it could be one of those kind of loaves. <laughs> it could be. It could be. I need a gas mask. <laughs> Loretta. <laughs> Bagels. <laughs> She growls a lot. Alright, yeah, this kitty needs to be like I guess he's kind of black and white, isn't he? Alright. A little bit grey. Uh, pins grey. now mm 
This is a conversation that we have with the kitty, yeah? Wow, green eyes. <laughs> hey, Diane, we've missed you. Pink ears inside, pink ears. Pink tongue, pink ears. It's the back of his collar there, somehow. Okay, a lighter layer of the grey. All over. Uh-oh, I made that dip in a little bit there. Oh no, we smudged our green. We definitely need white pencil in here to neaten that up a little bit. Oh, that might go through. Alright, let me try it. didn't go through yay i think it might be time to put away these though oh wait just a little bit of the gray just in those little sections there i think that's the only part that we hadn't covered over a little bit of that's that's good okay oh and the and the the light the light the light okay oh the lights I uh, actually might use, actually no, we use that, the, the grey, but to it like a metal. A wire. Okay. Happy with that so far. Alright, let's do, let's get rid of the watercolour because I don't want to get that everywhere. And let's do some pencils over it. Now let's make it prettier. Dying it. What's time?
I reckon once the book is closed, like with something on it, that will completely flatten again. All right, let's do some colors. I got Polly's. I got some pink carmine. And I'm just going to add some details. Uh, I'm going to put this back under because kind of wrinkled up a little bit. But I don't want to put any pressure on the back of it. Now the yellow is starting to come through the, I like it, it's good. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, Marilyn Smell Quest is a event that, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Michelle Keller Kola, I don't I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's organized it. Not a color along. But I'll be coloring an image. I'm gonna color the day day a color and chicks. I'm gonna color Smoggy. <laughs> Smog is very cute. I don't know if it's come out yet, but that's what I'm colouring. Once it comes out, I'll release the video. Uh, like, I didn't want to set up and release the video until everyone could buy it. So, yeah, once that happens, I'll set it up. We'll do a giveaway, which will be good. i got a feeling we're going to be coming back to this one. It's not going to be finished, so... But I think we I might organize a bit of a, a, a uh, I might give away one of these books, I think. When I come back. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh-uh, no, no.
not on this side. Over here this time. I'm right to you do. Strange little creature. <laughs> Alright, now that's um magenta. Magenta's coming over. I'm finding the uh, pencils are just kind of gliding over this watercolour which is uh, kind of good like it's not I'm not I'm not it's nice <laughs> I didn't know what to say then I was like I'm not lying <laughs> it's nice <laughs> So I guess I just want to re, re, uh, iterate, reiterate, is that it? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is. That, um, the, the watercolor is like a base coat. The only place I probably won't do anything over will be the bricks. I've sort of done that so I don't need to do the background. Um, but most of the other things I'm going to add pencil to and just make them look neater and add some depth and, you know, things like that. Um, on your stuff's already uh Monya stuff is already I think she's already given uh in you know to her patrons. Um I'll just see if there's anything else that's Sarah's done hers and that's it so far. Sarah Richter, hers are already on sale. Um, the others will probably be the 29th, so whenever it's midnight, that'll be likely when midnight in their country. you know, then <laughs> will be most likely. I think I need some nano. I go with light chrome yellow.
I'm gonna add maybe a bit of cadmium orange. I kind of feel like I need to get rid of some of these black lines a little bit, don't I? It's going to add some of that light chrome yellow in the middle. Back to the orange. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, like, looks cute. I think we need to work on those roses a little bit more, too. We'll have up there. of the orange of the yellow Maybe a bit more yellow. I'm just mixing between the two now. the purple it's not really purple it's called magenta I don't even think it's magenta to be honest it's more purple <laughs> it's more purple there we go let's make it pretty yeah I'm thinking maybe with using gold to uh go over some of the lettering and stuff what do I got this is some sparkles Wink of Stella. A little bit of yellow Posca.
I like it. Let's have a look at it uh, close up and a little bit more focused there. Let's see if we can see the glitter on it a little bit there. Sparkling. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice, Loretta. Hi, the lion and the lamb. Uh, yeah, I just did some Windsor and Newton watercolour, and now I'm doing some uh, polychromos over the top. I couldn't think of what they were called then. My brain died. A bit of orange. Academy on orange again. It's great having the watercolour underneath because if you miss an area with the pencils, it doesn't matter so much. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's not smooth, it doesn't matter if it's rough, all of those things don't matter. Before I do the paint pen and the Stella, I'm going to do the last one on this side. Oh, I can hear people outside. <laughs> it must be uh, getting to that time of the day. More of the Academy of Orange. Shadow. <laughs> She's like, don't stole to move me. If I zoom out a little bit. Book. A book. She's like, don't, don't, don't touch me with the pencil. <laughs> don't touch me with the pencil. A bit more yellow. Obviously, we're going to have to brighten up the yellow in the lights here, but we'll do that gradually. We'll move around. Get a dim paint pan. Oh, sorry. It's hard to see now that I moved away, isn't it? A little bit of stubber. Like this. Hello? Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> I <just> panicked. <laughs> no. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everybody. How are we? I thought I'd come in a bit quieter so I didn't scare anybody. Thought you might like a treat. Did you buy me chocolate? Never. <laughs> there you go.
You should check where they're made from now on. <laughs> yes, boss. Uh, it doesn't actually say it, does it? <laughs> yes, I remembered. Yeah. Um, know your portions. One row is one serve. <laughs> you don't know me very well. One, one packet is one serve. One packet is a serve, exactly. Ooh, yes. Do you know it doesn't actually say where it's made? No. Isn't it supposed to? But anyway, yeah. No. Ingredients. Dark Tasmanian mint and Rolo. What do you think of my little flowers? Really? Yeah. They're all glittery. They're glittery, I know. I don't get to use glittery that much, do I? <laughs> um. Um, Cam's been playing with some little uh, templates for uh, for some backgrounds, which is cool. I've got light cadmium red. As per requested last week. He's got his idea. He just needs to uh, to do it. Yep. The structure's there. I've just got to work out how to uh, put it on the on the paper so it's usable for everybody. No. When that's done I'll put it on Patreon. Yep. For patrons, so if you're a patron you'll be able to grab it. Be good. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, no, the the whole bed was uh, one nice big project project to make Ah, uh, the bed did you see the photos of my finished blanket guys go check it out it's uh it's beautiful and we've been sleeping with it and it's so warm oh yeah who's she talking to you yes give me kisses and cuddles yeah it's definitely definitely a large bed It's just two king single beds. He made the frame to fit them in together so they didn't so we didn't have to have separate beds. And um the biggest problem is finding bedding to cover over both the king single. I, 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 the two king singles. Like a super king doesn't cover it, it just it goes right to the very edges of it. It doesn't go down the sides. You get a little bit on the sides, <laughs> but you're pulling it off each other all night because it's, uh, yeah. I've got that uh, chrome yellow again, light chrome yellow. It's kind of frustrating, actually. Oh, what are you kissing now? So, yeah, yeah it's nice It's nice to have. I made our Duna uh, quilt is a... Uh, it's two king single bed covers sewn together and then two king single dunas inside that so it's okay it's good because you know we can it's hard to clean they're big so it gets a little it's a little bit of a challenge but... of a challenge especially when it's cold <laughs> especially when it's cold but it's such a nice big bed it is really is it's a dark purple in there uh, move uh, I'm just gonna darken that the shadows there and then I think I might go I'll do the other side she was always so genuine comes and comes in yeah of uh, course she is she's not allowed on my desk um, she's a uh, trying to claw him and and then through the craft yarn aisle at Walmart, and I thought of you. <laughs> uh, it's the yes. best bed. You know what? When I was a kid, one of my... You know how you, you imagine things when you're a kid? Mm -hmm. One of the things that I used to imagine was actually a bedroom that was just a bed. And then when I met Cam, I told him that that was one of the things I'd love to have. Just just one bedroom, just full of bed. So it didn't matter where you slept, you just kind of plonked on there and, you know. Um, and that's kind of what it reminds me of. I kind of got my big bed, didn't I? Well, if you try and put that into a standard size room. It would take up nearly the whole room. Yes, it would. 
Exactly. Two point, it's about 2.2 .2 meters wide by 2.1 meters long. It, it, it's huge. One, one and a half, yeah. <laughs> it's huge. I kind of feel like this one might need some white. Now, this is asking me to make her a bed frame too. Oh, is she? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know, what do you reckon? Is that alright? Yeah, it looks awesome. Some pretty little spots all around the edges. Why not? It's very dotty. I don't do a lot of fantasy stuff, so yeah, why not? Make it look pretty. Well, like this anyway. <laughs> very luminous. But if I do the whole book, <laughs> I'd quickly get used to that, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, I'll stick with my twin. I love the extra space in my bedroom. Of course, Our bedroom's are massive, so we have heaps of room. We've got like a tall boy and a dressing table and two bedside tables and we've got a treadmill <laughs> yeah big motorized treadmill it's huge. didn't really fit through any doorway in the house but we managed it somehow and uh, we managed to still have room to get up walk around get dressed standing in front of a mirror oh there's also a mirror too it's freestanding uh mirror as well so yeah we, we managed to fit it all in it's the biggest room in the house. It's almost as big as this living room, isn't it? Mm, it's close to. It definitely is close to. Yeah. That's like, is that blurry? Is that just my eyes? No, Barbara. <laughs> no, guys. I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, is that dry? A little bit of the cadmium yellow. Light chrome yellow, sorry. Which is it? Light chrome yellow. Light chrome, okay. Thinking, hang on a minute, no, cadmium yellow is over there. Cadmium yellow is more orange, isn't it? That's cadmium yellow. It's a lot deeper yellow. Yeah. Yep. Cadmium is supposed to be okay. bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's got that yellow to gold, orangey gold undertone to it. Cadmium red, cadmium orange, cadmium, cadmium, cadmium. It's had some sparkles on there too, just on these edges. Not that you'll be able to see this, unless I actually take a photo of this one and not scan it. You're right there, Shadow, ripping your claws off. The glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Oh, okay. Looking good, guys. I have to go. Um, But that's the start of it. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I hope you have a great uh, weekend. I'll see you on Monday. We're going to start the Smog Fest. Is that how you say it? Smog. 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 <laughs> I'll post up my video as soon as uh, the images go up in the shop for sale. Uh, I don't think I'll bother until then because otherwise you guys will go, where's the image? And you can't get it yet. So Bye, Abby. All good. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and see you soon. One more stream before I'm off for a little bit. So I look forward to uh, seeing you all there. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.